Welcome back to Civil Engineering Academy. This is Matt, and today we work a problem from the Civil PE exam from the Water Resources Depth section, so let's dive in. A wastewater treatment plant has an influent sludge flow rate of 6 million gallons per day and two anaerobic digesters, each with a volume of 20,000 gallons. The influent flow rate has a total suspended solids concentration of 1,200 milligrams per liter. The suspended solids are 60% volatile. Find the volatile solids load in pounds per foot cube day. So in looking at this problem, we realize that it's from the wastewater section of the water resources depth exam. And the key to this problem is really going to be focusing on units and looking at the units that were given and the units that the answer choices are in as we drive towards solving this problem. So the first step in this problem is going to be to calculate the volatile suspended solids concentration. And to do that, we're going to use the concentration of total suspended solids given in the problem of 1,200 milligrams per liter. And we're going to multiply that by 60% because the suspended solids are 60% volatile according to the problem. So multiply the 1,200 milligrams per liter times 0 0.60 and we'll get a volatile suspended solids concentration equal to 720 milligrams per liter. So in step two, what we're going to do is we're going to turn to the PE reference handbook. And at the time of this recording, we're using version 1.1 of the PE reference handbook. We're going to turn specifically to section 6.7.1. And there we will see an equation to solve for the mass. And that's going to be in pounds per day. That equation is equal to C, concentration in milligrams per liter, times Q, the flow rate in MGD times a constant of 8.34. So we look at the problem to plug in what we have. We know we're going to be solving for the mass in pounds per day. And in the problem, well, we're not going to use the total suspended solids concentration in the problem. What we're going to do is we're going to use the concentration of the volatile suspended solids that we found in step one of 720 milligrams per liter. We need to be careful because that could throw us off if we don't know which one to use. But the proper one to use is the one we just found in this step one, because that's the volatile suspended solids concentration. So we'll multiply that by the flow rate in the problem of 6 million gallons per day that's given to us, times the constant of 8.34. Working through that equation, we get mass is equal to 36,028.8 pounds per day. So step three, what we're going to do is we're going to find the volume. And we need to be careful because in the problem we're given a volume of 20,000 gallons, but we also are told that there's two anaerobic digesters. So what we're going to do is take our 20,000 gallons, multiply by two for two digesters, we get 40,000 gallons. Then what we're going to do is we're going to convert it to cubic feet. And if we turn to section 1.2 of the PE reference handbook, there's a conversion factor that one, excuse me, 0 0.134 cubic feet is equal to one gallon. So solving for that, we get a volume equal to 5,360 cubic feet. So finally, in step four, what we're going to do is we're going to calculate our volatile suspended solids load. And to do that, we're going to take our mass calculated in step two of 36,028.8 pounds per day. And we're going to divide that by our volume that we found in step three of 5,360 cubic feet. And if we work the math and solve this, equation, we arrive at an answer of 6.72179 pounds per foot cubed day. Looking back up at our answer choices, we realize that that is closest to answer choice B, and we've successfully solved this problem. So if you're looking for more practice with civil PE problems and questions, head on over to civilengineeringacademy.com 
and check out our Ultimate Civil PE Breadth and Depth Review courses, and we'll see you there.